Tonight, as the national conversation about sexual harassment grows louder, President Trump breaking 12 days of silence on Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. On the White House lawn, answering questions for the first time, defending the candidate who was accused of sexual misconduct with teenagers. The president saying Moore denies it all. And tonight it comes as veteran TV journalist Charlie Rose is fired, his co-hosts speaking out. We begin with ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega. Mr. President. On his way to Mar-a-Lago for Thanksgiving vacation, today President Trump broke his silence, finally answering questions about Roy Moore. Mr. President, is an accused child molester better than a Democrat? Is an accused well, child molester better look, than a Democrat? Well, he denies it. Look, he denies it. I mean, if you look at what what is really going on and you look at all the things that have happened over the last 48 hours, he totally denies it. He says it didn't happen. And, you know, you have to listen to him also. You're talking about, he said 40 years ago, this did not happen. So, you know. The president coming to Moore's defense as the former Alabama judge faces accusations of sexual misconduct by eight women, some of whom were teenagers at the time. What is your message to women, sir, during this pivotal moment in our country where we were talking about sexual misconduct? You've had your own allegations against you. What do you say to women? Let me just tell you. Roy Moore denies it. That's all I can say. He denies it. And, and by the way, he totally denies it. And that message to women? Women are very special. I think it's a very special time because a lot of things are coming out and I think that's good for our society. And I think it's very, very good for women. And I'm very happy a lot of these things are coming out. And I'm very happy, I'm very happy it's being exposed. The president faces his own accusations of sexual misconduct. More than a dozen women came forward during the campaign, alleging everything from sexual assault to harassment and inappropriate behavior. He all called of all of them liars and promised to sue, but he never did. Today, the president sent a clear message. Electing an accused child molester would be better than electing a Democrat. What do you think about a candidate? I can tell you one thing for sure. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat, Jones. I've looked at his record. It's terrible in crime. It's terrible in the border. It's terrible in the military. I can tell you for a fact, we do not need somebody that's going to be bad on crime, bad on borders, bad with the military, bad for the Second Amendment. Cecilia Vega, one of the reporters asking those questions at the White House today. She's with us now. And Cecilia, President Trump was asked today if he'll go to Alabama to campaign for Roy Moore. And he didn't rule it out. He certainly left that door open, David. He said he would get back to us on it next week. But the Roy Moore campaign certainly views the president's comments today as a boost to their campaign, and it did not take long. They have already taken his words about Doug Jones, the Democrat in this race, and turned it into a political hit on their opponent, David. Cecilia Vega live at the White House tonight.